just go. Hello, guys. I've been recording this for like ugh, maybe 10 minutes because I don't know how to explain it properly, but I'll try to do it perfect this time. So I've been trying to stream lately and it won't let me actually stream at YouTube. And I've noticed some people are having the same issue, but there's no fix. So I'm going to show you guys a little go around in which you can do and keep streaming through YouTube. First things first, uh, you're going to add your account, but let me show you the issue that I've been getting. So you have your account, right? You select your account and you say you want to upload and you're going to stream to YouTube. So you press stream. You're going to skip this. We're going to create new event. You guess this start streaming. But it won't actually let us. It's going to create an error for us. It's going to say, could not log in into the streaming service. Please make sure your username and password are correct. And regardless of what you do, it's always going to give you some error. Like, I don't know how to fix that. And uh, I have I've tried a lot of stuff. So instead of actually just keep, keep clicking here, stream, 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 we're actually going to go and do something else. So first things first, let me delete the account because I want to show you guys the uh, every single step that I do. So first thing, you're gonna add your account. You always need to add your account regardless because it will let you access, access certain parts of your account. So we're gonna select this one and I'm gonna allow. Close. Now we're here. We have our account right here already created. Uh, one cool thing that I figured out if right next to it, there's like a little box in which it takes you to the live control room. This is your studio for YouTube. Okay, I don't, are we streaming right now? No, we're not, okay. I was, I was kinda like, no, that's not, should not be streaming. All right, we're gonna delete this real quick because that one's obviously not working. But right here, you can see all your stuff. You can see all the streams that I was trying to create but just pressing the button, but it didn't create any of them. So, after you click the little square, so let me show you again, you click here, it's gonna take you to this page, which is your studio streaming page. You're gonna click on one of your streams, doesn't matter which one you pick, just pick whichever. All right, so from here on out, what we're gonna do, we're gonna say no. Here, you're gonna have a couple things. You're gonna have your stream key and your stream URL, which is what we're gonna need. So you're gonna, uh, they're probably gonna be different, so I'm gonna block this one from mine section, but you'll see them. You're gonna have those two, which we're gonna need them. First thing is you're gonna copy your stream URL. You're gonna go to back over here, to Elgato. We're gonna try and create another account but this time, if you see the very bottom part, it says custom RTMP. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna type in our name. We're gonna all add our URL. There we go. And now we just, the other thing that we need is gonna be our key, which you can reset it so you can change it up. So we're gonna reset our key real quick. We're gonna go back to Elgato. We're gonna put it back in. We're gonna add. So now you're gonna have a second, you're gonna have two, you're gonna have Replay Gaming, which is your main channel, and the custom one, which is your RTMP. The RTMP is gonna allow you, it's gonna allow you to access your actual streaming service. So now that you have this, you're gonna click on the custom gaming on the custom TMP and we actually gonna start streaming. And it will let you stream pretty easy. So we're gonna press, it says it's gonna start streaming. And we go over here. And right here where it says no data, it's gonna start marking excellent connection, meaning that you're gonna be connecting pretty soon and you're gonna be able to start streaming. And uh, a benefit of doing it this way, and I've noticed, is that you won't start streaming until you actually press it on the YouTube app, which I thought that was pretty cool. So you can fix your, you can add a whole bunch of different stuff. You can add, add like your, you can look at your analytics, you can change your your name and stuff like here. And I think you can put like, a, I haven't 
scene, but I think you can put a custom thumbnail and everything. You can do everything and then you can just press live, which I'm going to do right now. And you're live. So it's going to give you like your little channel thing. And after a while, it's just going to show the stream. There we go. At this point, you're already live and you're already streaming. Pretty straightforward and pretty awesome. And you're streaming through Elgato. So if you were having trouble streaming, so this is kind of a way to go around. And we're going to end it. End. Yes, uh, dismiss. Now what we're going to do, we're going to end it here too. So make sure you end it on both sides. Uh, right here is just trying to send the information to the other part and the other part is actually streaming. So that's pretty much the video. I mean, if you guys need uh, more explanation on this, I'll try and be do another video in which I can show you like step by step. But I thought it was pretty straightforward and I hope you guys enjoyed.